Brief update on coronavirus disease 2019 aka COVID-19. The new coronavirus disease COVID-19 pneumonia that was first reported from Wuhan, China has spread all around China and even to other countries in the world. On January 31, 2020 the World Health Organization identified it as a public health emergency of international concern. Realizing its human-to-human -human transmission capability increased the brutality and complexity of the outbreak. Given the fact that no effective medicine is available for COVID-19, the preventive measures including control of the source of infection, early detection of patients, cutting off transmission, and protecting susceptible population are paramount. Although medical institutions and workers are the main force fighting the disease, public participation is also indispensable for a rapid epidemic control. Therefore, it is extremely important to disseminate the relevant information to the public. In December 2019, scores of pneumonia cases with unknown causes presenting with fever, fatigue, coughing, and breathing difficulties as the main symptoms occurred in Wuhan within a short period of time. The Chinese governments and health departments at all levels placed great importance on the disease and immediately endorsed measures for disease control and medical care, and directed research institutions to initiate inquiries, treatments, and collaborative research. The pathogen of the disease was quickly identified as a new coronavirus, which was subsequently confirmed by the World Health Organization, WHO. The WHO named the virus 2019 NCOV while the International Committee on Taxonomy of Viruses, ICTV, coined it SARS-CoV-2, and the pneumonia caused by the viral infection was called New Coronavirus Pneumonia or Coronavirus Disease 2019 or COVID-19, by WHO. Part 1, History of Coronavirus Disease, COVID-19 What is Coronavirus? Coronavirus is unsegmented single-stranded positive strand RNA viruses. They belong to the order Nidovirals, the family Coronaviridae, and the subfamily Orthocoronavirini, which is divided into alpha, beta, gamma, and delta genera according to their serotypic and genomic characteristics. Coronaviruses belong to the genus Coronavirus of the family Coronaviridae. It is named after the wreath-shaped protrusions on the envelope of the virus. Coronaviruses have an envelope encasing the RNA genome, and the virions, the whole viruses, are round or oval, often polymorphic, with a diameter of 50 to 200 nanometers. The new coronavirus is 60 to 140 nanometers in diameter. The spike protein is located on the surface of the virus and forms a rod-like structure. As one of the main antigenic proteins of the virus, the spike protein is the main structure used for typing. The nucleocapsid protein encapsulates the viral genome and can be used as a diagnostic antigen. Recently, a new coronavirus was isolated from the lower respiratory tract of patients in Wuhan, who were suffering from pneumonia due to unknown causes, the World Health Organization, who, called it COVID-19. It was later confirmed that the virus is capable of human-to-human -human transmission. This new coronavirus is very similar in terms of the genome sequences to six previously discovered coronaviruses. An analysis of their genetic sequence homology revealed that the new virus has many similarities with SARS-CoV. This new coronavirus is now classified as a beta coronavirus. Animals that carry coronavirus disease 2019. Bats, civets, badgers, bamboo rats, and wild camels etc. are known carrier of coronaviruses. The outbreak of new coronavirus pneumonia originated in Wuhan has many resemblances to the SARS outbreak in Guangdong back in 2003, both began in the winter, the initial cases were traced to contacts with fresh, live animals in a market, both were caused by a previously unknown coronavirus. Due to the similarity of the genomic sequences between the new coronavirus and a coronavirus found in bats, which is 85% or higher, it is gambled that bats are the natural hosts of the COVID-19. Like the SARS coronavirus that caused the outbreak in 2003, the new coronavirus is likely to have intermediate hosts between bats and humans yet unknown to us. Therefore, one should refrain from consumption of uninspected wild animals or uncooked food such as meat sold by roadside sellers. Transmission of COVID-19 from animal to humans Bats are likely to be the unique host of the new coronavirus. Transmission from bats to humans might have occurred after change via an intermediate hosts. The genomic sequence analysis showed a more than 85% homology between the new coronavirus and a coronavirus in bats. However, 
there are several other possible intermediate hosts between bats and humans, which have not been confirmed yet. Animal to human or human to human transmission relies mainly on two roots, contacts and droplets. The coronaviruses that are currently known to cause pneumonia in humans include HKU1, SARS-CoV, MERS-CoV, and COVID-19. Lifespan of coronal virus in different environments. Viruses normally can last for hours on smooth surfaces. If the temperature and humidity permit, they can survive for several days. The new coronavirus is sensitive to ultraviolet rays and heat. Sustained heat at 132.8 degree Fahrenheit for 30 minutes, ether, 75% alcohol, chlorine containing disinfectants, paracetic acid, chloroform, and other lipid solvents can effectively inactivate the virus. Chlorhexidine, also known as chlorhexidine gluconate, also effectively inactivates the virus. The survival rate of COVID-19 at different environmental temperatures is as follows. Infectious is COVID-19. Some strains can cause diarrhea in adults. These viruses are mainly transmitted by droplets, and can also be spread via the fecal oral route. The incidence of coronavirus infection is rampant in winter and spring. The development period for coronaviruses is usually 3 to 7 days. Coronavirus disease 2019 is a coronavirus that underwent antigenic transformations. The development period of the virus is as short as one day but generally considered to be no longer than 14 days. But it should be noted that some reported cases had a development period of up to 24 days. Human immunity to COVID-19 Scientific data on the level and the duration of protective immune antibodies produced in patients after infection of the new coronavirus remain rare. In general, the protective antibodies, immunoglobulin G, IgG, against a virus can be produced two weeks or so after an infection, and may exist for several weeks to many years, preventing reinfection of the same virus after recovery. Currently efforts are underway to test whether recently recovered from COVID-19 infection carry protective antibodies in the blood. COVID-19 and its widespread and pandemic nature. On January 10, 2020, genomic sequencing of the first sample of coronavirus disease 2019 was completed, and the viral genomic sequences of five more samples were subsequently announced. The newly discovered coronavirus is a mutated new coronavirus, beta genus, which is named 2019 ncov or COVID-19 by the WHO and SARS-CoV-2 by the ICTV. Due to the antigenic changes that made this coronavirus new to humans, the general population lacks immunity against the new strain. Furthermore, there are more than one routes of transmission for this virus. These factors resulted in the new coronavirus becoming epidemic and now a pandemic. Transmission of COVID-19 Vulnerability to COVID-19 and who can contact it Everybody. Yes everybody. It is not respecter of race, status, or immunity. The new coronavirus is new to humans. Therefore, the general populace is prone because they lack protection against it. COVID-19 can infect persons with normal or compromised immunity. The amount of contact to the virus also determines whether you get infected or not. If you are exposed to a large amount of virus, you may get sick even if your immune function is normal. For people with poor immune function, such as the elderly, pregnant women or people with liver or kidney dysfunction, the disease progresses pretty quickly and the symptoms are more severe. The dominant factor determining whether one gets infected or not is the level of contact to the virus. So, it cannot be simply concluded that better immunity will lower one's risk of being infected. Children have fewer chances of exposure and thus a lower probability of infection. However, at the same exposure, senior people, people with chronic diseases or compromised immunity are more likely to get infected fast. Transfer rate of COVID-19 among humans. The growing widespread of COVID-19 has experienced three stages, local outbreak, community communication, and widespread stage, pandemic. 1. Transmission dynamics. In the early stage of the epidemic, the average development period was five days, the expanding time of the widespread was 8 days, the number of people infected doubled every 7.4 days, the average constant break, the average interval time of transmission from one person to another, was 7 days, the basic regeneration index, R0, 
was estimated to be three to seven days, meaning that each patient infects eight people on average. Two, main average intervals, for mild cases, the average interval from onset to the initial hospital visit was 5.8 days, and that from onset to hospitalization 12.5 days, for severe cases, the average interval from onset to hospitalization was 7 days and that from onset to diagnosis 8 days, for fatality cases, the average interval from onset to diagnosis was significantly longer, 9 days, and that from onset to death was 9.5 days. 3. Communication Stages The COVID-19 epidemic passed three stages, a. The stage of local outbreak, cases of this stage are mostly related to the exposure of a seafood market. b. The stage of community communication, interpersonal communication and clustering transmission in communities and families. c. Widespread stage, rapid spread, with large population flow, to the entire country of China and now a pandemic that has paused the world. Methods of transmission slash spreading of coronavirus disease 2019. Through respiratory droplets and contacts is the main routes, but there is a risk of fecal oral transmission. Aerosol transmission, via air, mother to child transmission and other routes are not confirmed yet. The distribution of COVID-19 is via any of the following channels but not limited to, 1. Respiratory droplets transmission, this is the main mode of direct contact transmission. The virus is transmitted through the droplets generated when patients are coughing, sneezing, or talking, and susceptible persons may get infected after inhalation of the droplets. 2. Indirect contact transmission. The virus can be transmitted through indirect contacts with an infected person. The droplets containing the virus are deposited on the surface of the object, which may be touched by the hand. The virus from the contaminated hand may get passed to the mucosa, or mucosi, of oral cavity, nose, and eyes of the person and lead to infection. 3. The live new coronavirus has been detected from feces of confirmed patients, suggesting the possibility of fecal oral transmission. 4. Aerosol transmission, when the droplets are suspended in the air and lose water, pathogens left behind to form the core of the droplets, i.e. aerosols. Aerosols can fly to a distance, causing long-distance transmission. This mode of transmission is called aerosol transmission. There is no evidence that the new coronavirus can be transmitted through aerosol yet. 5. Mother-to-child transmission. A child of the mother with COVID-19 was confirmed to have positive throat swabs after 30 hours of birth. This suggests that the new coronavirus may cause neonatal infection through mother-to-child transmission, but more scientific researches and evidence are in need to confirm this route. Droplet transmission. A droplet generally refers to a water-containing particle with a diameter greater than 5 μm. Droplets can enter mucosal surfaces within a certain distance, typically 1 m. Due to the relatively large size and weight of the droplets, they cannot stay suspended in the air for too long. Respiratory droplets is but not limited to the following, 1. Coughing, sneezing, or talking. 2. During invasive respiratory tract procedures, such as suctioning or bronchoscopy, tracheal intubation, cough stimulating movements including changing positions in bed or padding backs, and cardiopulmonary resuscitation, etc. Pathogens transmitted by droplets, influenza virus, SARS coronavirus, adenovirus, rhinovirus, mycoplasma, group A streptococcus and meningococcus, Neisseria, and recently discovered coronavirus disease 2019. Airborne transmission. Airborne transmission is also known as spray transmission. Sprays are deferments of tiny particles or droplets that can be transmitted through the air. They are generally considered to be less than 5 μm in diameter, and the pathogens carried by them can still be infectious after traveling long distances. Flying pathogens can also be transmitted through direct contact. The airborne pathogens are classified as follows. 1. Through the airborne route only, Mycobacterium tuberculosis, Aspergillus. 2. Through multiple routes, but mainly airborne, measles virus, varicella zoster virus. 3. Usually through other routes, but can also be transmitted through airborne only in special situations, like tracheal intubation slash incision, open airway suctioning and other aerosol generating procedures smallpox virus, SARS coronavirus, COVID-19, influenza virus and norovirus etc. Contact transmission of coronavirus disease 2019. Contact transmission refers to the transmission of pathogens through direct or indirect contact through fomites, pathogen-carrying objects. 1. 
Direct contact. Pathogens are transmitted through direct mucosal or skin contact with an infected host. A blood or bloody fluids enter the body through mucous membranes or non-intact skins, mainly viruses. B. Transmission caused by contact with secretions containing certain pathogens, commonly for infections by bacteria, viruses, parasites etc. 2. Indirect contact. Pathogens are transmitted through contaminated objects or people. Pathogens of intestinal infectious diseases are mostly transmitted through indirect contact. 3. Other important pathogens transmitted through indirect contact, MRSA, benzoxisole-slash-methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, VRE, vancomycin-resistant Enterococcus, Clostridium difficile. What is a close contact? Close contacts refer to persons who have contact with a patient who is confirmed or suspected with infection of COVID-19, including the following situations. 1. Those who live, study, work or have other forms of a close contact with a patient. 2. Medical personnel, family members, or others who have had a close contact with a patient without taking effective protective measures during diagnosing, treatment, nursing and visiting. 3. Other patients and their accompanying people sharing the same ward with an infected patient. 4. Those who shared the same transportation or elevator with the patient. 5. Those who are deemed as such through on-the-spot investigations. Why close contacts are isolated and medically observed for 14 days. Now the longest development period observed for coronavirus disease 2019 is generally 14 days. Severe checking of close contacts and other protective measures are necessary. This is not only a socially responsible practice for the public health and safety but also consistent with the universal resolution. With reference to the development periods of diseases caused by other coronaviruses, the information from the recent cases of coronavirus 2019, and the current prevention and control practices, close contacts should be placed under medical observation for 14 days at home. Part 3, Detection, Diagnosis, and Treatment Signs and Possible Symptoms of COVID-19 in Humans The beginning of coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, is mainly showed as fever, with apprehensions i.e. fear and respiratory symptoms, which can occur together with mild dry cough, fatigue, poor breathing, diarrhea etc. However, runny nose, sputum and other symptoms are rare. Patients may gradually develop dyspnea. In severe cases, the infection can progress rapidly, causing critical respiratory distress syndrome, septic shock, irreversible metabolic acidosis, and coagulation disorders in just a matter of days. Some patients start out with mild symptoms without fever. The majority of patients have a good prognosis, while a few become critically and sometimes fatally ill. Laboratory Testing for Coronavirus Disease 2019 COVID-19 can be known by real-time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction RRT-PCR. Specimens to be tested should be from lower respiratory tracts, such as chest-slash-alveolar lavage fluid and deep saliva. Also, serum samples should be collected both at the onset of symptoms and after 14 days. At early the white blood cell count stays normal or lower, but the lymphocyte count is decreased. While some patients have elevated liver enzymes, muscle enzymes, and myoglobin, most patients have elevated C-reactive protein and erythrocyte sedimentation rate. The procalcitonin levels stay normal and D-dimer is elevated in severe cases. What should close contacts to a COVID-19 victim do? Self-monitoring and stay at home. Don't be scared. Don't go to work. Don't go out too often. Perform daily checks of health condition and report the records to the authority, and follow up with your community doctors regularly. If fever, cough, or other symptoms appear, please go to community health centers for further evaluation and treatment. What to do if you are possibly infected with COVID-19? Promptly go to the local designated medical institution for assessment, analysis, and treatment. While seeking medical attention of COVID-19, you should inform your doctor about your recent travel and residence history, particularly if you've been to the widespread areas lately, and any history of contact with pneumonia patients or suspected COVID-19 cases, and animals. It is extra important to note that surgical masks should be worn throughout the visit to protect yourself and others from the virus. How COVID-19 Spreads 
Current understanding about how the virus that causes coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, spreads is largely based on what is known about similar coronaviruses. COVID-19 is a new disease and there is more to learn about how it spreads, the brutality of sickness it causes, and to what extent it may spread in the world. The following are detected ways it spreads, 1. Person to person spread via, a. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person b. Between people who are in close contact with one another, within about 6 feet. c. Through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. d. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. 2. Spread from contact with infected surfaces or objects, it may be possible that a person can get COVID-19 by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching their own mouth, nose, or possibly their eyes, but this is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads. 3. Can someone spread the virus without being sick? A. People are thought to be most contagious when they are most symptomatic, the sickest. B. Some spread might be possible before people show symptoms. There have been reports of this occurring with this new coronavirus, but this is not supposed to be the main way the virus spreads. How fast does the virus spread? How fast a virus spreads from person to person can vary. Some viruses are highly spreadable, spread easily, like measles, while other viruses do not spread as fast. Another factor is whether the spread is sustained. The virus that causes coronavirus 2019 seems to be spreading fast and sustainably in the community, community spread, in some affected environmental areas. Community spread means people have been infected with the virus in an area, including some who are not sure how or where they became infected. Symptoms, for confirmed coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, cases, reported illnesses have ranged from mild symptoms to severe illness and death. Symptoms can include, 1, fever, 2, cough, 3, shortness of breath Center for Disease Control CDC believes at the moment that symptoms of COVID-19 may appear in as few as 2 days or as long as 14 days after exposure. This is based on what has been seen previously as the development period of MERS-CoV virus. Prevention and Treatment Prevention, there is currently no vaccine to prevent coronavirus disease 2019. COVID-19. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed to this virus. However, as a recap, everyday preventive actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases, including, 1. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. 2. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. 3. Stay home when you are sick. 4. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue, then throw the tissue in the trash. 5. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces using a regular household cleaning spray or wipe. 6. Use a face mask always. Face masks should be used by people who show symptoms of COVID-19 to help prevent the spread of the disease to others. The use of face masks is also crucial for health workers and people who are taking care of someone in close settings, at home or in a health care facility. 7. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after going to the bathroom, before eating, and after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. 8. Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% alcohol if soap and water are not readily available. Always wash hands with soap and water if hands are visibly dirty. Those are everyday habits that can help prevent the spread of several viruses especially this pandemic coronavirus disease 2019. Treatment, there is no specific antiviral treatment recommended for COVID-19. People with COVID-19 should receive helpful care to help relieve symptoms. For harsh cases, treatment should include care to support vital organ functions. People who think they may have been exposed to COVID-19 should contact their health care provider immediately. What to do if you are sick with coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19? If you develop a fever and symptoms of respiratory illness, such as cough or shortness of breath, within 14 days after travel from China, you should call a health care professional and state your recent travel or close contacts. If you have had close contact with someone showing these symptoms who has recently traveled from this area, 
you should call ahead to a healthcare professional and mention your close contact and their recent travel. Your healthcare professional will work with your state's public health department and CDC to determine if you need to be tested for COVID-19. Ways to prevent the spread of COVID-19 if you are sick. If you are sick with COVID-19 or uncertain you are infected with the virus that causes COVID-19, do the follow to help thwart the virus from spreading to people in your home and community. 1. Stay home except to get medical care, you should restrict activities outside your home, except for getting medical care. Do not go to work, school, or public areas. Avoid using public transportation, ride sharing, or taxis. 2. Separate yourself from other people and animals in your home, people, as much as imaginable, you should stay in a specific room and away from other people in your home. Also, you should use an isolated bathroom, if available. Animals, you should restrict contact with pets and other animals while you are sick with COVID-19. Although there have not been reports of pets or other animals becoming sick with COVID-19, it is still recommended that people sick with COVID-19 limit contact with animals until more information is known about the virus. If you are sick with COVID-19, avoid contact with your pet, including petting, cuddling, being kissed or licked, and sharing food. 3. Call in advance before visiting your doctor, call the health care provider and tell them that you have or may have COVID-19. This will help the healthcare provider's office take steps to keep other people from getting infected or exposed. 4. Wear a face mask. You should wear a face mask when you are around other people, example sharing a room or vehicle, or pets and before you enter a healthcare provider's office. If you are not able to wear a face mask, for example, because it causes trouble breathing, then people who live with you should not stay in the same room with you, or they should wear a face mask if they enter your room. 5. Cover your coughs and sneezes, cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze. Throw used tissues in a lined trash can, immediately wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains 60-95% to 95 alcohol, covering all surfaces of your hands and rubbing them together until they feel dry. Soap and water should be used preferentially if hands are visibly dirty. 6. Clean your hands often. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains 60-95% to 95 alcohol, covering all surfaces of your hands and rubbing them together until they feel dry. Soap and water should be used preferentially if hands are visibly dirty. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. 7. Avoid sharing personal household items. You should not share dishes, drinking glasses, cups, eating utensils, towels, or bedding with other people or pets in your home. After using these items, they should be washed thoroughly with soap and water. 8. Clean all high-touch surfaces every day. High-touch surfaces include counters, tabletops, doorknobs, bathroom fixtures, toilets, phones, keyboards, tablets, and bedside tables. Also, Clean any surfaces that may have blood, stool, or body fluids on them. Use a household cleaning spray or wipe, according to the label instructions. Labels contain instructions for safe and effective use of the cleaning product including precautions you should take when applying the product, such as wearing gloves and making sure you have good ventilation during use of the product. 9. Monitor your symptoms. Seek prompt medical attention if your illness is worsening, example difficulty breathing. Before seeking care. Call your health care provider and tell them that you have, or are being evaluated for, COVID-19. Put on a face mask before you enter the facility. These steps will help the health care provider's office to keep other people in the office or waiting room from getting infected or exposed. Ask your health care provider to call the local or state health department. Persons who are placed under active monitoring or facilitated self-monitoring should follow instructions provided by their local health department or occupational health professionals, as appropriate. If you have a medical emergency and need to call 911, notify the dispatch personnel that you have, or are being evaluated for COVID-19. If possible, put on a face mask before emergency medical services arrive.